Alrighty, well, hi everybody, and cast time once again, and then let me, uh, let me intro this music real quick. This is gonna be, um, uh, it's called Funky from Yugoth, um, and it's, um, uh, totally forgot what I was gonna say. Oh, yeah, it's, it's from one of my all-time favorite YouTube channels, Iron Cthulhu Apocalypse, um, ooh, flicker. And those that have been checking out my other cast videos, um, will know that this is a channel that, um, uh, that I refer to quite often often playing their music and stuff, but it's it's dark ambient music, so. Uh, but otherwise, let me go ahead and get that fired up. And, oh. And I might need to check the sound a little bit here. Still checking. Is it just me or does it look like, there, like there's a big ol' uh... Yeah, it's like a big ol' giant fungus shambling mound. Big ol' humanoid shape back there behind the big mushroom. I just now noticed that. But anyway, let's get started. So. Uh, for today's stream, I thought I'd do something different since I don't really care to play uh, Darkest Dungeon anymore. It just, I think the novelty on it just kind of wore off. But anyway, um, I tried to, so, since I'm uh, looking for another game, one of the one of the games that came up on my uh, my Steam recommendations was uh, Melvore Idol. Uh, for those that don't know, it was an idol game they used to play the living hell out of like a few years ago. In fact, I think I played it alongside, right around the, hang on, let me let me try to find the right words here. I think I played it right around the same time that I had started, that I had uh, picked up old school RuneScape again, uh, playing it for about six months. But, uh, I, I mean, I played, I played Melvor Idol a lot longer, and for those that don't know, Melvor Idol is, um, it's a RuneScape inspired game, and I gotta, I gotta make a bit of it. Bugging the crap out of me. There we go. But anyway, um, but yeah, and then also for those that don't know, RuneScape was um is an MMO that I played for about six years, like back in the back in the mid two thousands. So, but then um I think a few years ago, um I picked up old school RuneScape, uh played it for I think once again about six months, and then just the most certainly for lack of a better phrase but the novelty wore off but um I had a I wanted to I wanted to access my old account the one you know the six year old account the one that I've been playing on for six years well can't lost and gone forever so I think uh, during those six months I was like trying to recapture the magic but it it didn't happen so, but anyway I'm gonna take a drink of some Arizona green tea But um, one big problem I had with uh, or let me let me back up a bit. Um, I actually tried streaming Melvore Idol today, but it didn't work like not at all. It um, uh, it's basically incompatible with OBS. Um, my OBS um, my OBS software doesn't recognize the game. Like um, you can um, use when um when you want to stream a game, one of the sources has to be either a game capture or a window no yeah a window either a game capture or a window capture and um unfortunately neither one of them worked um i either got a black screen or a white screen so basically there's um there's a compatibility issue i look i did a quick google search on it but i don't i don't want to be spending all day trying to find a trying to find a fix for it um or I think a lot of the a lot of the uh, potential solutions um basically involved like what, what was what was one of them I think you had to change the way out 
way uh the way Windows 10 operated in 30 like in 32 bit or 62 bit but basically they were they were big time massive overhaul changes hell I think there was even a uh, I think there's even one in there that required you to go into your registry and change something I'm like no you know so but basically the changes that Google was coming up with were either un were basically unfeasible for one reason or another and there's another flicker So, you know, because... You know, because most games, to some extent, um, work on OBS. Like I said, OBS recognizes them. But, um, Millboro Idol is, like, pretty much the only game where OBS doesn't recognize it. So, it's like, uh, it's like they're asking me to just do a complete overhaul of my whole computer just for the sake of one game. So, no, not worth it. So what I ended up having to do is uh, having to having to uh, run the game in what's called display capture, which um, OBS captures whatever is on your screen at that moment. But I don't. Something else I need to look at too. Um, okay, I got to make another little adjustment. Um, I guess I don't I don't want to do a whole behind the scenes section of this but um the 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 YouTube thumbnail in the background the bottom layer I guess if you want to call it that it just I can't for some reason I can't just use I can't just copy I can't copy the YouTube thumbnail on the beginning and just copy paste it and all the others I have to treat each one of them separately for some reason but anyway getting getting back to the task at hand um but yeah I have to use a uh, display capture and I'm the I'm the kind of guy that likes to switch between windows a lot so yeah you'll be you'll be watching the idle game and then all of a sudden you'll be switch you'll be watching the browser then you, you might even be all of a sudden watching my uh my uh, popped out uh, Twitch information screen. You might be seeing that. You might be seeing me. Uh, you might all of a sudden be seeing one of my notepads that uh that I write stuff down on. Then you might see me going popping back to the game. But like I said, you're gonna be you're gonna be constantly seeing Windows switching around. So so yeah, that's that's gonna get annoying. So uh, but overall, I think. I think on Melbourne Idol, if I was to, if I was to rank it in a top five, I would, I would probably say it would be either number three or number two. Jesus, all the flickering. And um, when when I play this back, I don't know if the, I don't know if the flickering will show up during playback, when I play back this video. Um, last time I did that, there was no flickering at all, but it's, I mean, it's scaring the living hell out of me, um, uh, yeah, it's doing it again. It's scaring the living hell out of me, like, during the recording of this, though. And I kind of lost my train of thought. So, but anyway, um... But yeah, I'd probably rank Melvor either number three or number two with uh, Idol Champions, despite the fact that uh, it's a 50-50 chance of crashing my computer. It's probably still going to be number one. So. But um, but during while streaming that game though, it did have kind of a cool little unintentional reference, like one um, of the skills on there, summoning. Um, you have to, you have to acquire a currency, currency called Marks. One of the Marks that you can get on there is called Mark of the Mole. I thought that was a really cool unintentional reference right there. It was, uh, it was a reference to, uh, my all-time favorite band, The Resonance. Um, one of their albums they had, like, in the early 80s was Mark of the Mole. So I thought that was kind of funny. Um, it was the, uh, it was the first album from the, re from the Resonance I ever heard. But, um. 
it wasn't something that, um, believe it or not, it wasn't something that I actually absolutely loved immediately. I first heard that album, I'm like, what in the cinnamon toast fuck is this? You know, so, and I didn't listen to any more Resonance music at all for like another six months or so. I mean, because my ears are, you know, my ears are trained to listen to stuff like, you know, rock, metal, classical, etc., but not the Resonance. I mean, their, their, their music is like way different from everybody else's, so, but like I said, my ears weren't, my ears wasn't used to that kind of music, so yeah, I'm like, what the hell is this? And then it just, again, I just set the band aside for about six months. So, I think I grabbed their, uh, their, their best of album, I think it was. Our Tired, Our Poor, Our Huddled Masses, I think it was called, and where they had more accessible, for lack of a better word, uh, music on there, so it was definitely the kind of band where I had to dip my toes in gingerly, because once again, I'm not used, I wasn't used to this kind of music at the time, having listened to basically, you know, rock, metal, classical, light rock, stuff like that. Anyway, um, so yeah, enough on that one. But anyway, um, but, um, I also, um, today I also tried, uh, firing up Pinball FX3. This time around, it worked. It didn't crash, unlike yesterday. So, I, I didn't do stupendous or anything on the weekly matchups, um, I, I did a couple, a couple attempts on Attack from Mars. I did an attempt on Star Wars, but um, I got, I basically got nowhere fast on Star Wars. So again, I had to go back and make a, I had to do another Attack from Mars run. Um, I think I won one. I won one. It got me a little bit further into the blue, but I'm still gonna have to keep playing uh, from here. For the next couple days, I'm probably gonna have to keep playing here, trying to, trying to, you know, trying to, try to keep out of the red. Cause during these whole, during these next two days, um, if I don't, you know, if I don't try to maintain my ranking, I'm gonna keep getting pushed down. So at the end of two days, if I don't do anything, I'll probably be back into the red and being pushed back down a tier. So yeah. I'm going to have to keep playing, and um, I also fired up some Pinball Arcade. Um, in fact, I even made a video about it, but uh, it it wasn't that great. Um, I probably did about below average. So, I've, I've definitely done worse, but I've also done a hell of a lot better, though. So, like I said, kind of a below average performance, but I did, uh, I did record it. And I did, and it's it should be up on YouTube right now. So, God, that's a wicked cool thumbnail. I might make that as my um desktop background. But yeah, that that is one of the reasons why I like Iron Cthulhu Apocalypse. They've got some. Awesome thumbnails. So, but anyway, moving right along. Um, and also recently, um, I don't... This is a new channel I was checking out. Um, her name's Michelle Kerr. Michelle Carr. I don't know how her last name is pronounced, but she's... For lack of a better word, she's a daredevil. I think her... The name of her, uh, the name of her video series is Challenge Accepted, and um, probably the the two videos that I'm really in, that I was really interested in was the uh, one where she tries her hand at being a paramedic, and then um, another one where she does a uh, 9/11 dispatch, which it kind it kind of reminded me. Of, there's an actual pinball, there's an actual pinball machine called Rescue 911. Um, it's even it's on Pinball Arcade. Um, I yeah I I played it on there, but um. 
it's an I've said this before in other videos, but it is an awful concept for a pinball machine. And I gotta I gotta take another drink. I think I'm talking myself hoarse. <sighs> But yeah, really bad concept for a pinball machine. Because on there you'll be given, you'll be given mission. You know, you'll you'll start a mode like help. We're trapped inside. Me and the kids are trapped inside of a car inside of, and it's in a flame and bomb or no, and it was a forest fire all around us. Can you get a help out here? You know, it, it, you know, something, you know, something like that or. Oh no, I'm. Oh no, I'm trapped in my car and I just fell off a bridge and I'm floating down the river. You know, and then... You know, and then, then um... Like I said, and then... What, then a question that keeps popping up in my mind during these modes. What happens when the ball drains? I mean, does the lady... I mean, does the lady drown in her car and go glug glug? Or, you know, does... Does a mom and her kids burn to death inside their car because the fire raged out of control? The game don't say. I mean, so you kind of you're you're kind of left in suspense. I mean, I you know, I mean, I mean, I, I one would probably assume that the rescue squads did get there and you know save their lives and stuff, even if the ball drained. But no mention of no actual mention of it is made on the table, which is probably the biggest reason why I say it's a really bad concept. You know, so yeah, it rescue 911 pinball never should have happened. But anyway, um getting back to the original subject, um but uh yeah, I just I checked out her um uh, I checked out her um uh, her paramedic video. Yeah, she was kind of freaking out during I mean, or let me rephrase that. Both me and her were kind of freaking out during some of the parts cuz now they had her training uh, no, they had her training on a dummy. Or part of the time they had her training on a dummy, like how to get a how to get a tube in their throat and stuff like that, and how to how to actually do an emergency tracheotomy. Like where they actually drill a hole literally inside your windpipe and like put a little breathing tube in there and stuff. Yeah, even I'm like, oh my god, TMI, TMI You know, and there and there are other parts that are like this too. So, but yeah, but like I said, there, even um, even Michelle there was like, oh my god, oh, I don't, I, like, like you know, clearly freaked out and grossed out. So, and then um, and it, 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 and now that I think about it, it's actually probably one of very few videos that I can think of where I actually watched from beginning to end. Most other videos, even you know, even my favorite ones, I can't. Re I can't recall that hardly ever happening. Like, watching a whole video from beginning to end. But, like, once again, even my favorite videos from my favorite channels, very rarely do I do this. I'll, I'll watch, like, a, like the first few minutes or watch half of it. Um, I can, you know, in my, at least in my mind, I, I can kind of, I kind of figure out how the rest of the video is going to turn out. So, I just quit watching and go on to something else. But no, this is uh, one of the rare ones. Watched the whole video from beginning to end, and then um, the the nine eleven dispatch, um, it it's probably gonna be. I want to watch the whole thing, but it's gonna be kind of it's gonna be some pretty bad. It's uh, I'm trying to find the right word or words here, but uh, it's gonna be a major trudge job. Yeah, it's gonna be major drudgery, mostly um. Uh, Excuse me. the The music in there actually kind of kills the immersion. It's like it's that real, real suspense driven kind of music. You know, you know, just you know, you know. Again, it's, it's really suspenseful music. It's it's actually becoming real. It's becoming a real distraction in this in this particular video. So it also um. I, and it kind of, I, 
I, I kind of realized that too about the paramedic video. It, and it just kind of, I came to, kind of came to the conclusion that I bet a, a lot of her other videos are really overproduced. Like I don't, I don't think she does her own video editing. I think it, um, she just records all the footage and then she sends it off to a, a video ed, a video editing company or something and they take care of the rest. At least that's the impression I'm getting. So, but like I, like I said, um, I like her channel, but not enough to subscribe to it. I don't like it that much, because once again, um, most of the, the the videos that I saw of hers are like just again overproduced. You know, you, you know, for you know, for something like uh, again for like the paramedic and 9/11, you don't you don't need all the fluff. Um, but, uh, I guess to sketch in a little bit of history on, on Michelle Carr, or Carr, or how you pronounce it, like I said, like I said earlier, she's basically a daredevil, um, she had other videos in there, like she, uh, she tried out the FBI Academy, uh, she tried Navy SEAL training, she tried Marines training, I mean, hell, she even, um, she even trained under a chess grandmaster, like, I guess uh, teaching her how to play chess and stuff and how to be good at it. So, so yeah. Um, now that I think about it, the name of her video series, in case I didn't say earlier, it's called Challenge Accepted. So I guess uh, I'm guessing all of her, uh, all of her subscribers and viewers and whatnot, they're all basically giving her dares. You know, like hey, hey, I dare you take skydiver training. Challenge accepted. And then she makes a video about it. I'm guessing that's how this works. So, but um, chances are I might, I might check out some of her other videos, especially that chess grandmaster one. That one really piqued my interest. Cause like I said, in a lot of these other, I'm sure she's not the only person that does this. There's probably like lots of other people that do these kind of uh, kind of challenge accepted videos. But I don't. I don't know if any of uh, if any of those other ones ever wanted to like take on a chess grandmaster like she did. So But otherwise, um that's gonna do it for me everybody. Um, I believe I've said all the things that I wanted to say today, so I guess I'll go ahead and call it good here. So, but thanks for uh, tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. And then, um, I should be able to make another one of these tomorrow. So, but, but until then, though, thanks again for coming by, everybody, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.